Hi guys, what I have here, um, basically there are two Sarah monogram wallets. The one to the right with the heat stamping, the initials, um, this is the authentic wallet and the one to the left is a replica item that I purchased off the eBay and I watched other YouTube um, videos. I also subscribed to a couple of people who had purchased pre-loved items um, from YouTube. So I thought I was well informed um, when making a purchase. And what's so funny is that this is the second item that I've purchased that I will be returning. Um, this seller is trying to give me a little bit of a hard time. But this wallet is going back because it's not authentic. Um, when I initially took this one out of the box when it arrived, it was a little suspect. I wasn't quite sure, but something in the back of my mind had said, take it to the LV store and um, and just have them look at it. It's not going to hurt. What was suspect about it is that the initial smell coming out of the box, there was a plasticky smell, like a chemical smell. And I thought, well, maybe that was just the bubble wrap or the box or the packaging the seller had used to um, ship it to me. And then also um, what was a little suspect is that the canvas felt, it felt a little bit rough. Um, it wasn't as smooth as the authentic. It was a, a little rough and the color was a little different. Um, so what I did was I um, took this back and I compared it to my, I have a Marie wallet, I also have a clay, I have a medium ring agenda that are all monogram items. And I tried to compare the canvas and the color um, and also the texture, something just did not sit right. And also when I tried to slide my credit cards in, these slots are too small. And the six slots in the back are um, too small as well. I can't fit in, I can't fit a standard driver's license or a standard credit card in these slots because it's too small. So, but the markings, everything is where it's supposed to be. Um, the coloring is different, and I don't know if you can see the difference in the texture. This is more grainy. The ridges are raised. And over here on the um, authentic one, it's um, it's smoother. It's a smoother canvas. But if you look here, on the authentic, th no, this is the replica one. It says Louis Vuitton. And also here, you'll see Louis Vuitton. On the authentic one, it says Louis Vuitton, um, Paris made in France. And you'll see the exact same stamping on the replica one. This replica one, it also has a date code. And the date code for this one, I don't know if you can see it. It's like behind my knuckle. Okay, it's right here. Gosh, I can't see you can't see it because of the, the shadow, but there is a date code. Um stamped in here it's right it's right there you can see um, part of it but the date code is stamped there in here in the authentic wallet their date code is it's on the right side it's right there and another difference between the two wallets is that the authentic one this one does not have a smell at all this one, there's a plastic, um, chemically smell to it, and it's um, a tiny bit smaller than just a hair, just a fraction. It's just a little bit smaller. It's a little bit shorter than the authentic one, and the credit cards will not fit into the slots at all. Opening and closing the zipper. It's um, it's a little rough. It's a little rugged. Um, so when I had received this one, there's one sales associate that I pretty much work with, and I asked her to look at it. And right off the bat, she was just like, "I don't know, um, where did you buy this?" And I said, "I bought it from eBay." 
And, you know, the first thing that caught my attention was the first thing that caught her attention. She said, there's a smell to it. The canvas feels different and it's lighter. And she said, let's compare it to an authentic one. And so, well, anyway, this is the one that I ended up buying while I was there and I had it heat stamped. But we laid them both side by side. And to a person who um, who doesn't know Louis Vuitton, I mean, really, this replica one, it could be passable because it's really just a slight difference in color in the sense that it's lighter. And I guess the plastic or the smell, if you let it air out, I guess that smell would dissipate. It will go away after some time. I don't know. Um, I guess if you force it over time, you could stretch out the areas where um, the card should go. And maybe that will be easier to pull them in and out. But I know with this one, it's like butter. You know, they slide in, they come out. The canvas is just so smooth, it's so soft. And so I was just, um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's not a review on the Sarah Wallet because there are so many reviews on the Sarah Wallet that's on um, YouTube right now that I don't, you know, I just don't have to do one. I just wanted to show you how close... The replica can resemble an authentic one. I know people mention all the time that the LVs, you know, have to be upside down because it's one continuous um, canvas and they use that as a telltale sign um, to tell if it's real or not. But I'm telling you, um, the people that are um, generating these replica items, they're getting, they're really, they're getting pretty good. So that's all I had wanted to, um, to share with you guys. I'm filming this with my phone. I don't own a camera, so I can't zoom in um, on any of the differences. And I'm really kind of angry about this, that I'm thinking about asking my friend um, who you know, has the little editing and, you know, um, software and has a really good camera to have her redo this video. Um, but from my very short experience with eBay, again, this is the second wallet in this week alone that, well, I have, well, I'm going to send this back. The first wallet I received, um, I sent that back already and the seller didn't give me a hard time. Um, I just got back from the boutique taking this in. I have them look at it. And while I was there, um, I bought this one. And so I'm going to send this back. So, I mean, my recommendations is that, you know, I looked at the seller. They have a little star and like a little percentage near their name. Um, I didn't bid with anyone that had less than 100%. I also read some of their reviews, and um, I just didn't see any problems. I looked at pictures, and I asked for um, more pictures to be sent. So I thought I did my research, and the only thing I could recommend is that if you're purchasing a designer item, I know for me, I'm not. I was trying to be lazy. I don't necessarily live close to an LV boutique, but because I kind of thought that this was fake and the money that I spent for it, oh no, it was worth the drive um, to make it out to the store today. So yeah, um, if you buy an item, I would always say within the first day or two after receiving it, um, take it have it authenticated like as soon as you can because there is there's a small window that eBay will allow you to ask for a refund or a return from the seller and you don't want to miss that small window so I guess as soon as you get something have it authenticated by the store if you can and you know continue to look at the seller the percentage and also um the feedback that that person has received though in my case it it didn't really help me but it may help um someone else um i don't know 
how I feel about um, eBay right now. It just really sucks that one person can just, you know, mess it up for the people who really are selling authentic items. So anyway, um, that's just it. I hope that um, this was helpful and I'll try to take, let's see another picture. That's the in, the inside of it. This is the replica one. And the one with the heat stamping, this is the authentic one. I mean, this setup, everything is the same. It looks similar, except for it's um, a few shades lighter. And again, to someone who didn't know or, or to someone who was new um, to the brand, this would be and this would be acceptable to someone who was new because they wouldn't know so my advice is just have it authenticated if you can